every week, every time, I make a video about Joe Biden and I think to myself, oh, well, that's got to be it. I'm done for making videos about him for a little while. Nope. He just keeps coming with the content and the content and the content. And I mean, I, I feel obligated to make something about him. I mean, how, how can I just ignore like these terrible gaffes? I mean, come on. I'm literally just filming this stuff on my phone because I just can't be asked with this stuff anymore. Like, I've ran out of funny stuff to say about Biden's gaffes. I mean, they're just they're just sad at this point. Like, I actually feel bad for the freaking guy. But I mean, you know what? YouTube is full of savages. Okay, you got you guys are barbarians. You guys want to make fun of this old guy more? I mean, I'm a, I'm a man of the freaking people. So we're gonna do this, okay? So Joe Biden this week had another terrible week, and there are three notable gaffes from this week that I would like to point out. So that being said. We're going to do this probably weekly. We'll probably have like every Saturday or Sunday. We're just going to do a video. The worst of Joe Biden this week. Okay. So here is the worst of Joe Biden this week. Let's go. I'm Patriot Dow and we're coming to you here with the worst of Joe Biden this week. Coming to you at number three. We have reading off of a teleprompter while trying to talk, quote unquote, to Bernie Sanders. It means a great deal to me personally. As I said in my statement, when you suspended your campaign, I want to thank you for being the powerful voice and you've been the most powerful voice for a fair and more just America. It's a voice like yours that refuses to allow us just to accept what is. You've refused to accept that we can't change what's wrong in our nation. You refuse to accept that health and well-being of our fellow citizens and our planet isn't the responsibility of somebody else. It's our responsibility act night and you don't get enough credit, Bernie. I mean, it's honestly just sad. Like, I get it. I get saying a speech off a teleprompter, right? That That's common practice. A lot of people do that. But, I mean, you're, you're, you're talking to a person. Like, the person's right in front of you, and you're reading off of a teleprompter. I mean, okay, what what is this guy going to do as president? Like, as a world leader, when he's meeting with, I don't know, Putin or President Xi or whatever, he's just going to be, like, reading off a teleprompter right in front of their face? Like, how can you do that? Come on. You can't talk to the guy. The guy's right. There's a person right in front of you. You're talking to them. You know, there's no need to read. Just, just say what you. F it's just terrible. It's just, it's just really bad. It's really bad. Coming in at number two, we have, what, whatever the hell this is. We gotta. It's just. Yeah. But you gotta. I mean, the, the, we gotta reassure. Look, here, my, my. See, Joe has not been on TV that much. Like, I know someone's been doing a count of how little Joe's actually been on TV. Like, they're actually hiding him from the cameras. But he can't even come prepared for the few times he does make live interview appearances. Come on, dude. Oh, my God. This guy, like, can you imagine this guy is going to be, if this guy was president? Like, I don't think he's going to win in November. But, oh, my God. Can you imagine this? I mean, it's, like, our country would be screwed. Like, it, it, would, it would literally, it, like, it, our country would literally be screwed. And finally, ranking as the worst Joe Biden moment of this week, we have w War Production Act Roosevelt, I, I believe. Kinds of things that, that have to be done. Um, you know, there's a, uh, during World War II, uh, you know, where Roosevelt came up with a thing uh, that, uh, you know, was totally different than a... Then the, the it's called he called the you know the World War Two he had the war the the War Production Board. It's I, I mean I I sound like him now because I'm literally at a loss for words because I just I just have no words as to what do I say about this guy anymore. I mean I I mean I can make fun of him, I can feel bad for the guy, I I, I but I genuinely like I don't know what to say. It's just it's just terrible. Like the guy's literally just not fit to be president. Okay, I have a suspicion, and a lot of people have a suspicion that they're probably going to try to replace him with someone before the convention because this is just terrible, and that would be a bad look for the party. Don't get me wrong, but it might be a little bit better than letting this guy run for their presidential candidate. This is my wife. This is my sister. Like this is who the Democrats chose to be their presidential candidate, and for a guy running off of the one platform that Trump is unfit for office and he's unhinged, he's deranged, whatever. That's ironic. 
That's really ironic, Joe. And don't take this as me like going soft because when it comes around to the general election season, don't worry, I'm gonna make a big deal. I'm gonna tear into him for his just mental incapacity to lead. But at this point, like, I just, you know, I, I just feel bad for the guy. Like some people say, oh, he's showing early signs of dementia. I'm not sure about that. I'm not a doctor. I'm not here to comment on that, right? But I don't know. I just get the vibe from Joe. Like, you know, you should be sort of enjoying your retirement with your family. And like the, his his family who told him he could do this, the, his friends and his people around him that told him to do this. I mean, they're sick people. I mean, they're, they're just stringing him along. And it's, it's like mental torture for him. But I'm just not in the mood to freaking get on him about his mental state right now. Like, it, it just speaks for itself. Okay, I made a video on it, so you guys are happy because I, I know you guys love these Joe Biden videos. Okay, with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to Patriot Dial for more conservative content. I'll see you guys next time. This is my wife. This is my sister.